All right, uh, good afternoon. How you doing today, world? It's me, Larry Williams. Um, I am to help. And I hope you do too. And if you aren't, I hope you do soon. Uh, I'm going to go pick up Paul on my way currently. And we're going to head over to the First Step Communities. Uh, bring them something that they don't know is coming. But we're headed over there to actually... Uh, take a couple interviews because they asked me to come back with the camera. They told me don't come back with no food, don't come back with nothing but the camera because they wanted to tell America that uh, they feel like they're being slighted. Uh, they've been allowed to come into a program that now is about to have code enforcement come over there and tell them that if their vehicles aren't registered that they're going to take their vehicles. So now mind you, 2627 Front Street is a first step community. Uh, it's ran by the county, the city, whatever. And uh, so they have these rules about don't have registered vehicle. If you don't have a registered vehicle, you can't be in the program and all that. But yet and still, everybody over this vehicle is damn near not registered. And you allowed all of them to come into the program with unregistered vehicles. And now you're telling them uh, we're going to impound your truck or your RV or whatever they're living in. And then the thing that makes it even worse is that it's supposed to be a safe ground. You're supposed to be safe over there. You're supposed to be able to, uh, you know, go there and not have to worry about the law and things of that nature because they're supposed to be helping you. So what I was told yesterday, right, is that uh, they're not even promising to give them shelter or anything after the program. There is no you get homes or we get you into anything. Everything is just by happenstance. And if you get into the first step community from what the people that live there told me, um, you're just there and you're hoping that you're the lucky one who gets picked to go to one of these uh, low income communities or they put you on the housing list. So I don't know, but I'm about to go find out before I pull up to 2627 frontage. Uh, I always come check on Michael. Um, I went and took him a pizza, talked to him, you know, I have a good relationship with this man. You know, he always says thank you. He's always courteous. I push on my way and move on to my next destination, which is 2627 Front Street, Sacramento, California. Safe first step communities. Uh, now I'm at 2627 Front Street. Uh, I'm at the safe ground, which is First Step Communities, a bridge out of homelessness. Uh, I came over here, as you see the backpack that has cameras and stuff in it. Um, and they asked me to come take footage. But when I got here on this day, uh, some of the people were nervous, obviously. And then some of the people were asleep. So I just came, dropped off the pizzas and things of that nature. Um, you know. And I do have rapport with everybody over here. So, you know, I started talking to Peaches and the woman that was helping her repair and patch her trailer. Um, walked over, engaged in a quick conversation. And after I engaged in the conversation and asked what was going on and what they were repairing. And, you know, me and Peaches, we always talk about donuts. She loves donuts. She loves when I bring the donuts in the morning. And she asked where the donuts were. I told her I brought some pizza today and if they needed some help or did they know what they were doing. And if not, I would provide help. Um, the lady in the yellow jacket told me, I know what I'm doing. I'm a mechanic. Hey, I left it like that. And, you know, I said my goodbyes and I went back over to the table, got me a piece of pizza and exchanged a few pleasantries with the people that were there. After we had a slight short conversation, I went on my way to the next spot. Um, please come over here and help 2627 Front Street. Uh, they need anything and everything that you can donate to them. Um, but like I said in other videos, they would prefer that you come over here with job training, vocational training.